Hi everyone, today in this video we're going to look at a really commonly asked question that we get. What kind of capture device should I use? Well, today we're going to look at your two options, external capture devices and internal capture devices like this one here. So if you want to get a HDMI or an SDI video into your live video production, you're going to need a capture device. And that's because computers don't have HDMI or SDI inputs built into them like you do with an USB or an Ethernet port. Capture devices allow your computer to receive the video that your camera is sending so that you can use it in programs like vMix. And as we mentioned before, there's external and internal. External will connect to your computer by USB 3 and then it will connect to your camera via HDMI or SDI. Uh, internal capture are installed directly into your computer's motherboard. Um, so you can connect your camera directly up to that to go into your computer. Now, external capture devices uh, allow you to connect from your camera via HDMI, SDI, and then to your computer via USB 3. They're really easy to use. You just plug and play. And once you plug it in, your computer will start seeing it like it would a normal webcam. There's plenty of different options out there av available to, to buy. Um, there are, they range in quality, price, capability. So some might only support certain frame rates or resolutions and that type of thing. And they have different connections like HDMI, SDI, or DVI perhaps. They're really good for one or two camera productions. So you can easily just have one HD camera, set this up, bring in a really good quality video to your live production. They're great for mobile stuff. Um, they're really lightweight, so you can throw a couple in a bag. Um, and they're, they're easy to set up each time as well, so it's just plug and play. The, the issue with uh, the USB devices is that you only have a certain amount of um, USB data transfer on your computer. So you're probably only going to be able to connect two of these up without it causing issues. Um, reliability may also be an issue with, with USB devices. Uh, you might see some drop frames if you're using it for a long time or something. They're probably not as reliable as internal cards. Uh, they're fairly small, so you might misplace them. Uh, and, you know, you might be limited to what it can do. So it might only support 720 or 30 and you might be trying to do, sorry, 30p and you might be trying to do other things with it like 1080 and 4K or something. So in summary, these are really easy to use. You just plug and play. They're great for portable stuff, single, you know, double camera productions. Uh, there's plenty to choose from on the market. Uh, they're really affordable. So um, do some research and check out those. Now, another option for external capture is Thunderbolt. Now, Thunderbolt I is better because it allows more data transfer than USB. So you can uh, plug in, you know, four SDI cameras or more and connect to your computer via Thunderbolt. So it allows for portable production, but also really pre professional production. So the AJA IO 4K allows for four SDI inputs uh, that will connect to your computer via Thunderbolt. You can also build your own box. So there's a, a Thunderbolt enclosures you can purchase, and then you can install your own PCI Express card to those. So it's going to get you better quality than USB, um, and you don't have to worry about those bandwidth issues. So that you, it's really good for multiple cameras and really professional. Um, they're going to be more expensive than USB. So if you you know depending on how many inputs you're going to need, um, it may not be economical for you. It does require a Thunderbolt port. Um, so a lot of computers won't have a Thunderbolt port. Can be a little bit expensive, but it's it's entirely up to you on what budget you've got. And there's not too many um, options on the market as well. So you may need to look at buying uh, the enclosure and building your own or purchasing someone that's built one for you. So they're really good for a professional portable broadcast. We use these when we do our trade shows. Um, a lot of them we can just throw it in a bag and then we'll put it and then input four SDI cameras to it really simply and then use a laptop. So internal capture devices or PCI Express cards will connect directly to your computer. So they're going to provide extremely reliable, good quality, uh, consistent, smooth video. Now, they, they have a support for a wide range of resolutions and frame rates. So typically, you know, it's going to be a lot more broader than just a USB device. Uh, they're probably the best option for creating professional multicam productions because they're so much more reliable and they will provide uh, great quality. Heaps of different kinds to choose from. Uh, whether you want HDMI or SDI, one input, eight inputs, huge range of um, different brands you can choose from and they range obviously in price and quality as well. And vMix supports all the major brands. 
Uh, the only issue with these ones might be is there's a lot to choose from. Uh, might be hard to kind of discern what to buy. You can always send us an email to, to see whether it's going to work with your production. And the other thing is you might not have any experience with, with building the PC or installing a, a PCI Express card. You could always ask a local computer shop to take a look or have them build one or even have one of our resellers build you a computer with the, your desired card. So this is going to be the best option for professional live video. It's going to be consistent, reliable, high quality, and it's going to be easy for you to find one that fits all of your needs and budget. Now, just to take a quick recap, external capture, really good, portable, easy to use, just plug and play, you don't have to worry about anything. Um, internal capture, going to be more professional, reliable, and allow you to have more inputs um, for your production. So we support a whole bunch of different brands. All, they're all on our website at vmix.com on our supported hardware page. Um, so you can check that out. You can also go to our forums and ask them there if anybody's had any experience with particular brands or um, using it in a certain type of production. So those, um, that's a really quick look at internal and external capture devices. If you're still confused, feel free to send us an email via vmix.com or leave us a, a note below. Thanks. Click to watch another exciting vMix tutorial.